three reasons why you shouldn't draw not safe for work art. Look, I get it. You probably want to make some side income taking commissions and also get some internet clout with your spicy content. And as someone who did this for a few years, I understand the appeal. Drawing 18 plus art is a good way to make some money and get a bunch of likes on social media. But before you take the plunge, let's talk about three reasons why you may want to reconsider. And hey, if by the end of this video you still want to do it, you have my blessing to draw all the depraved sh** you like. The first reason why you shouldn't draw not safe for work art is the community itself. It's full of weirdos. Now it's not to say that everyone is strange, but I would say at least 30%, and that's being generous. Now to give you some examples from my own life, for the past few years, I would occasionally get a DM by some thirsty dude asking me if I'm a girl or not. Like, they're secretly hoping that I'm some big titty anime girl just like the drawings. And I've also gotten plenty of messages from people who just kind of randomly start roleplaying. Like, usually the scenario is based off a picture I've drawn. And again, it's like people forget that these characters I'm drawing are fictional. And just because I draw them, doesn't mean I am them. So yeah, expect to have a lot of unwanted DMs. And if you plan to launch a Patreon, Subscribestar, or Discord server, you're definitely going to be talking with a lot of these weird people. For example, if someone signs up for your Patreon, you're probably going to want to thank them and show some sort of appreciation. So obviously you're going to be sending messages to people quite often. And again, not everyone is weird. I've personally met many cool people through my Patreon, even back when I only did 18 plus content. However, I would get the occasional weirdo signing up. And the pretty common scenario is having them dump their strange, fetishy ideas onto me. Like, Oh, you should draw this and this sex position and it will be so hot, like it's super cringe. And I would just sort of put up with it because they pledged money to me, so I wasn't just gonna ignore them. Of course, within reason. But yeah, if you're gonna be a not safe for work artist, be prepared for weird and uncomfortable conversations with these sort of people because you're definitely gonna attract a few. For those of you who've seen Death Note, remember how the main character Light Yagami was a good and respectable young man in the public eye, but he had a secret identity Kira where he was just murdering people with the notebook, and if the world ever found out that Light was actually Kira, his life would be pretty much over? If you plan on drawing not safe for work art, this is going to be you. If you're someone that draws harmless things like trees, animals, or just plain fan art, that's really easy to show your friends and family. No one is going to judge you for that. But if you're drawing straight up porn or fetish art, you're definitely not going to be showing it around your home, school, or work. And God forbid anyone in your personal life finds your deviant art account. You're going to have friends and family ask you if they can see your art. And when that happens, you're going to probably get that sinking feeling in your chest like, damn, I can't show them this crazy shit. I'm telling you, you're going to have two identities. The first one being the real you, Light Yagami. And the second one is going to be your crazy hentai online art persona, Kira. All that wild stuff you're drawing and posting on the internet is going to want to stay there and not creep into your personal life whatsoever. Now, if you have a family member or friend that you plan on showing your art account to, you better trust them 100% because if that sh** ever leaks out to other family members slash friends, it will be a very painful experience. And you're also going to be extremely reluctant to hand over your phone to anyone, because you're probably going to have some stuff in there that you don't want them to see. So if you can't handle the pressure of having a whole secret life away from your family and friends, then maybe drawing porn isn't for you. If you're someone who loves to do any sort of art, chances are porn is not what inspired you to become an artist. In fact, I'm willing to bet most artists got into the craft because they were inspired by an anime, cartoon, book, or just someone else's art. And if every artist could make a good living drawing whatever they wanted, most of them probably wouldn't choose to draw pornography. 
it's really easy to fall into the trap of only drawing 18 plus content because it's an easy way of getting likes and engagement as well as having more people paying you to see your art but at the end of the day is that really what you want to be known for now i'm not saying you can never draw 18 plus content i'm just saying it's probably not best to have your brand circle around it take berserk for example it has a lot of wild and erotic imagery in it but no one considers it a porno or dojin it's simply mature dark fantasy with erotic stuff sprinkled in it there's absolutely a fine line between making a fun series with fan service in it and then just straight up porn or hentai. And again, take it from me. And I wasn't even good back then. I was drawing on the sketchbook app and had no idea what I was doing. And despite this, I still made some good income from people commissioning me and buying my comics. And being a broke college student at the time, that was huge. But the thing is, I found myself not enjoying my own work, especially the commissions. People just wanted me to draw their weird and perverse fantasies for them. And I found myself drawing stuff that other people liked, but not me. And this made me develop a sort of resentment to all the people commissioning me. Because I felt like I was never able to draw what I really wanted. By the time I graduated college, I was pretty much tired of it all. I deleted all my older weird fetish art off all my accounts and stopped taking commissions. Since then, I've been working on my own comic series. It still has plenty of erotic moments, for sure, but it's all wrapped around the story and world that I've made. No one is paying me to draw it, so I have no time constraints and the freedom to draw whatever I think is fun. And let me tell you guys, having people compliment your character designs, your stories, and your writing is much more gratifying than people saying how much they want to fuck your characters. And if you're going to exclusively make not safe for work content, you're going to get the latter far more than the former. And yes, you may make less money and get less likes if you're drawing stuff that isn't pornographic, but the quality of people who will like and support you will go up. That I can guarantee. If you made it to the end of this video and still want to do not safe for work art, then you just might be cut out for it. I understand my personal experience isn't reflective of everyone, but I hope it at least gave you something to think about. Make sure to drop a like and tell me if anything on my list resonated with you. Do you agree? Disagree? Let me know in the comments, I'd be very curious. Till next time, peace.